Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about Universal Shift Register. Universal Shift Register is different from the Bidirectional Shift Register which was discussed in the previous video. That Bidirectional Shift Register only shifts the data in left side or right side. Okay, there is no other way. But Universal Shift Register along with those two operations, so shifting the data in right side direction or in left side direction, Along with these two operations, it will also operate. It will also give two more operations. That is, loading the same data. That means parallel loading operation and no change operation. Even after giving the buffering operation, that means even after shifting, also we'll get the same operation. Such four operations can be performed by using universal shift register. So this is different. from bidirectional shift register bidirectional shift register it performs four operations it performs four operations first one is no change operation no change is nothing but the data will be loaded again same the output will be taken as input okay no change operation and the second one is shift right operation and third is shift left operation shift left operation and the fourth one is parallel load operation parallel load operation okay no change operation buffering operation shift right right shifting the data in right side direction and shift left data will be shifted from right to left and parallel load parallel load is nothing but whatever the input is there that will be parallelly loaded okay four bits means four inputs now in order to perform these four different operations what is the additional logic circuitry we need In the previous example, why I am saying, <coughs> why I am saying previous example means bidirectional shift register already you might have gone through in the previous video. If you have understood very well about the bidirectional shift register, then universal shift register is also easy to understand. Okay, if you do not gone through that, once uh, go back to the bidirectional shift register and see that so that you can understand this particular universal shift register very easily. Okay, in bidirectional shift register, we have performed only two operations: left shift operation and right shift operation. For that left and right shift operations, we have used a pin that is right by left bar, and which is connected among eight AND gates, which is connected among eight AND gates, and the and we have used a separate logic circuitry uh, with AND gates and OR gates. But here, that shift here we have used right by left bar pin, right by left bar pin. But here we Also, we have this right shift and left shift operation. Along with that, we also have two more operations. So, totally four operations are there. In order to accomplish four operations, this one pin is not sufficient. One pin is not sufficient. Okay, so that's why we have to use a multiplexer, four by one multiplexer. We need four by one multiplexer. to accomplish these four operations these four operations so what happens so four operations are there so four by one multiplexer is there so four inputs are given to the multiplexer so this is four by one multiplexer all the four inputs are given all the inputs are given so this is no change input this is a left input this is okay left or right right input this is right input this is a left input and this is parallel load input and we are giving only one output this one output is giving to the flip flop so that the flip flop will be having the output so what else we have for the multiplexer for the multiplexer we need two pins four by one multiplexer needs two select lines so s1 s0 so depending on the type of the selection line 0 0 means first operation will be performed 0 1 means second operation so we need selection lines s1 s0 0 0 and the operation is no change operation 0 1 means right shift operation 
right shift operation 10 left shift operation left shift operation and 11 parallel load operation this is how we are going to design the universal shift register the universal shift register definitely need a multiplexer depending upon the number of operations suppose we need seven or eight operations then we have to go for the usage of eight bound multiplexer okay so let us see the logic diagram of this one this is for s1 is equal to 0 s0 is equal to 0 operation when s1 is equal to 0 s0 is equal to 0 first let us see the construction see this is d flip flop this is d flip flop here and here four d flip flops are there and all the flip flops are having a input d and one more input clock clock is common for all the flip flops and d input is taking as the output of multiplexer this is the output of multiplexer here 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 okay if you listen this i am explaining how to draw this diagram very easily okay so the output of all the multiplexers is giving as input of the d flip flop input okay now multiplexer is having four inputs so take four inputs for all the multiplexers and two selection lines two selection lines two selection lines are s1 and s0 which is common for all the multiplexers okay and one more input is there for the d flip flop in order to clear all the outputs at a time we have taken a clear pin which is used to clear or make the output to zero at a time from the, all the flip flops okay now a1 a2 a3 a4 uh, a0 a1 a2 a3 all these are the parallel outputs of the multiplexer these are the outputs these are the outputs now what is the first operation 0 0 first operation 0 0 means what is the operation you have taken no change operation no change operation no change is nothing but whatever the output is there again we are feeding back to the input whatever the output is there again we are feeding back to the input so that's why this output is connected at the input here see this is the first input again see a2 is connected here for the 0th pin a1 is connected for the 0th pin and again a0 is connected to the 0th pin that means all the 0th pins of this multiplexers are having the same output whatever the flip flop is having in the same stage in the same stage so this is first stage first stage output is connected second stage second stage output is connected third fourth okay so when this particular 0 0 operation is performed what happens a3 is loaded here again a3 is coming out and b is having a3 here again here a2 here a1 here a2 that means a3 operation a3 appears here a2 appears here a1 appears here and a0 appears here so whatever the data previously it was there again we are having the same data that's why this operation is a no change operation that's why this operation is no change operation after taking this uh, clock pulse one clock pulse we are having the same output second clock pulse we are having the same output because no change operation is done okay this is s10 s0 now coming to the next stage when s1 is equal to 0 s0 is equal to 1 s1 is equal to 0 s0 equal to 1 so all these pins are common s1 equal to 0 s0 equal to 1 that means which is selected here second first pin which is selected here first pin all the first pins which operation is performed let us see so this first pin is taking serial input for the shift right serial input for shift right so <clears throat> right shift operation is performed and this is the input data this is the input data <coughs> dn this dn loaded here and appears here <coughs> so here dn comes and what is the input for the second multiplexer first pin second multiplexer first pin will be having the output of the previous flip flop see a3 is connected a3 is connected here that means a3 is coming out and a3 is coming out here and similarly here a2 is connected here so a2 is coming here and here it is a1 a2 a1 so for the occurrence of new clock pulse what is the output d in a3 a2 a1 again after the next clock pulse 
D in, D in, A3, K2. So which operation is performed here? Right shift operation. Right shift operation. So right shift operation is performed. Right shift operation is performed. And similarly, when S1 is equal to 1, S0 is equal to 0, which operation is performed? Let us see. That means second pin is activated. When this is 1 and this is 0, 1, 0 means 2. So this pin is activated. This pin will be having. See, this pin is taking serial input for the shift left. That means shift left operation is performed here. Whichever the data we are giving, that will be coming here. So A0, now it is D input. Whenever the new clock pulse occurs, automatically D in will be shifted to here. And what is the input for the second pin of the this multiplier? This multiplexer is having the output of the a naught output a naught so a naught is coming here this a naught is coming here whenever the clock pulse occurs a naught comes here and similarly a1 is connected here so a1 and whenever the clock pulse occurs a1 this is a2 here again a2 and here it is that means for the new clock pulse a2 a1 a naught and d in again for the next one more clock pulse a1, A0, D in and D in. That means left operation is being performed. Left shift operation is performed. Left shift operation is performed. Okay. And the last operation when S1 is equal to 1, S0 is equal to 1, <coughs> then both are 1s, then both are 1s, third pin is activated. Third pin is an independent pin. Third pin is an independent pin which are taking directly the inputs from the external environment. So I3, I2, I1, I0, all these are inputs for the multiplexer third pin. So they simply comes here whenever the 1, 1 pin is connected. I2, I1, I0. When the clock pulse occurred, what happens? This I3 will move on to A3 and I2 and this is I1, this is I not. So simply the parallel loading operation is done. All the inputs are parallelly loaded to all the flip flops. So I3, I2, I1 and I not. These are the outputs. So parallel load operation is done. Parallel load operation is done. So that's why the universal shift register can perform four different operations. No change operation, shift right operation, shift left operation and parallel load operation depending upon this construction. Suppose if you want to increase the more number of operations, then you have to increase the size of the multiplexer. That's it. You have to increase the size of the multiplexer. Suppose you have five operations, then you have to use eight by one, eight by one multiplexer because you don't have five by one multiplexer. Okay. So up to uh, 5, 6, 7, 8 operations, you can use 8 by 1 multiplexer. Okay. Thank you.